I realized that there were many uh, graphic designers uh, making alternative film posters or uh, fan-made film posters. Uh, and what struck me the most was that they were very aware of their own uh, uh, fandom, <laughs> in a sense. I mean, they were, they were actually very, very interested in cinema. And uh, so that's what drew me into, into, into this, this idea. The, the, the fan-made film posters, uh, they were, technically they were very well made, but also they dealt directly with the film. So, and in, in a way, they, they, they circulated back into the internet. So if you Google up, for instance, uh, Hitchcock the Birds and, or uh, uh, a poster, you'll find like 10 different posters that are not actually the original, they're not the original poster. So these, these images are, keep circulating on the internet. And some of them become, uh, uh, one of them, for instance, the one, one of the ones that I'm showing became a book uh, cover. And uh, they, they become something else. So in that sense, uh, what happens is that, that uh, to quote uh, Mary de Valk in, in Amsterdam, what happens is that the film historical imaginary is constantly changing. The past is not stable <laughs> in that sense. So uh, it, what's interesting about, about thinking about these posters is how do we think about them in a, th in a th how do we incorporate them in theory for film studies? Because uh, film studies, now that we have digital, has been entering in a series of crises about its identity. Originally wanted to do films, but most recently been asking itself as a discipline, well, what, what is it that we're studying if film is no longer celluloid? <laughs> you know, do we study YouTube or do we study, um, uh, you know, LED screens or do we, what, what is exactly this, the, the object of film studies? And uh, posters are n haven't really been considered that, that, that often. Film scholars use them as kind of ways of backing up arguments how, about our audiences and stuff. But they're very central to the experience of cinema. Uh, they've always been there. Even after digital, uh, you would think that digital technologies, uh, being so modern and so recent, would you know would impact posters, and and they do. The posters are still essentially. Uh, at the core of distribution. So what's, what, what I found interesting is that this distribution is being taken up by, by fans and by people that want to take control over how their films, films are being distributed. Uh, another uh, project that interested me very much and is related to this talk was actually is uh, film criticism and film scholarship in, in the, on the internet. I have a blog and, and the idea that, that we, it, it was covered by other, other uh, presenters that, you know, that is also been impacting the way scholarship has been made and the way criticism has been made. The internet kind of is an, is an interesting arena for that.